and these curls are going to last me i still have to kind of work on this side i always curl this side way better so i'm going to be showing you guys a hair curling routine um using a barrel curler i did use the babyless um ceramic pro um curling iron so this is a clamp curler the difference in my routine today is i'm using velcro curlers to cool my hair so the key to get the voluminous look like this is not to just curl your hair you want to set the curls and let them cool so that way they kind of like stay in place another key to my curls lasting long especially with my yummy hair extensions or any raw hair extensions um for that matter is the sebastian shaper i love this stuff it is so good but i specifically use this is the hold and control spray so this one is like a dry brushable spray it's not gonna leave your hair crunchy like i've sprayed a lot of this stuff in it and it doesn't feel like it this is the best spray when it comes to holding your curls even on your natural hair where you're not gonna get that crunchy nasty yucky feel like we don't want that we want good hair but we also want it to still be healthy you know what i mean I also went in with a drop of the BioSilk Silk Therapy Oil. Um, for yummy hair extensions, they do recommend the Proclaim, but honestly, I just use whatever I'm using in my hair. They all kind of work the same, um, so I use a little bit of this. But I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to let the music play and let you guys see how I got my yummy extensions. This is the Raw Lao Wavy. How I got these beautiful blowout curls. Like, look! I guess I feel so what first thing I'm always gonna do is brush out my hair I use this paddle brush I absolutely love this brush it's I don't even know where I got it from it might have been my local beauty supply store but this is the yummy extensions raw la wavy if I didn't already mention it and y'all this is by far one of my favorite textures but I'm using this is a one and a half inch barrel um I'm gonna leave it linked down below or if you want the link to this one just leave a comment ask for the link and I'll link it but you guys this one ceramic curlers i feel like they they don't heat up as fast as the titanium so for this first curl i'm showing y'all in live time like i'm not fast forwarding it how long i held it on there because for whatever reason i feel like it just wasn't hot enough for me but when i use the other curler like their kosa's yummy's kosa curler oh girl like two seconds two seconds and that's it but i'm just letting it cool in my hand for like a couple seconds and then i'm just let it drop so y'all can see what the curl looks like now when i use the one and a half inch barrel i picked this one because i didn't want tight curls when the curls fall i want them to kind of be like a loose wave an everyday sultry kind of look with just like a little bit of curl at the end i didn't want nothing tight so if you want looser curls or more of a blowout look i highly suggest you get a bigger barrel the bigger the barrel the looser the curl will be so y'all see y'all gonna see me struggling like look struggling with this velcro curler um i <laughs> i'm being honest with y'all like at first i really it took me a little minute to get the hang of it right so i'm like child it's a little bit of a struggle but i, I figured it out i didn't clip it the way most people clip it how you kind of clip the piece to the root child i just as long as it was up there i didn't care i'm not a perfectionist when it comes to it as long as it's up there it's whatever so i curled a few pieces and then i put them together on that one and i'm just going ahead and curling the rest of my hair but when i curl the left side of my hair it always comes out way better than when i do the right side so i don't know i gotta really work on doing the right side better i think it's just the way i'm holding the curling iron but you guys first things first the loud hair i've been i had this in my hair for a couple of weeks now and it is so soft the only thing is just this hair to me is not as thick as the yummy extensions cambodian textures so i have in four bundles baby and i feel like i still need it like one more but no like mm, like i don't need it but i really like when i curl my hair i need it to be full like i like big full hair period you do not need as many bundles as i purchased and i say this because some of you guys feel like you know i don't want anybody to feel like i'm telling y'all you have to have four and five bundles you don't have to start off with three bundles okay and if you feel like okay i need a little bit more then you proceed with purchasing more bundles but i got a new off rip after i got the first three like you yeah, know i'm gonna have to go ahead and at least buy one more if look if this was a quick weave i could definitely fit five in there but not with a sewing but 
yeah at this point i'm getting used to you know putting the, the hair on the velcro curlers so i do feel like i should have curled some of them like in a different direction this is my first time and i see how the girlies could have struggled with this a little bit but i like how the pack that i got i'll leave it linked down below if you want it but it came with did it come with like 18 pieces and i barely used half of the 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 what you call them half of the velcro curlers that came in the set y'all i did not flat iron my leave out either i just used the curler to kind of flatten it just a little bit i don't always like my roots super pressed out like I, I just don't i feel like it looks it gives my hair a little bit more body i am relaxed already so there's no need for me to constantly keep pressing out my roots um especially if you know i'm just in the house if i'm really going somewhere going somewhere and i'm gonna be taking pictures then yeah i might press out the roots a little bit but and for the top i like to curl it going back so i always do two curls at the top like two big curls because it's not that much hair I curl it going back that way when I brush it or when it falls, it's going away from my face. I do not like the curls going towards my face. I just, it doesn't suit me. I don't feel like it suits me at all. So, but yeah. And I, this one I pinned more towards like the root and it definitely, it stayed. Then I'm going in with my Sebastian Shaper spray. Y'all, the dry brushable spray, it don't get crunchy at all. You can spray as much of this as you want. But I sprayed it while some of the curls were, um, you know, sitting on the Velcro curler. And no, I didn't get any nasty residue on the curler either. But I sprayed it and I ended up taking some of them down because, child, I thought I didn't have enough clamps when in all actuality I did. I just didn't see them on the other side. But at this point, they were cooled off, so... It was nothing wrong with it. And taking it down, when you take the Velcro curlers down, you want to twist it and pull. Twist and pull. Don't completely unravel the hair. Just twist it and pull. Because otherwise, you're going to have a hot mess. Now I'm going in on the right side. And this is the side, like I said, it always comes out. I feel like this side comes out a little flatter than the other side. And it's just one of those things. I got to get better. I'm going to perfect it. But this side always gives me a little bit of a problem i can't curl it as fast but when i curl my hair down i always drag the curler down um and then i leave a little bit of the end sticking out because sometimes if i leave the end inside the barrel it slips out and it messes up the curl so that's why you guys see me leaving that out a little bit and then i'm just going in with the velcro curler again on the other side now you guys this year i don't think i'm going to be buying you know as much hair i'm not sure if yummy is going to be coming out with um new textures or anything like that but my my spending is going to be a lot more intentional at this point i don't feel like i need that much more hair so i mean unless i just want one new bundle every now and then i like to get another bundle because i layer my hair that's the only reason why i usually like to get more bundles is i really do layer my hair and sometimes you know when you constantly reinstalling it you chop in pieces or whatever so that's the only reason why but I do not plan to buy any more extensions this year. I'm um, not any not any new textures. Not any new textures. So we're gonna rock out with these bundles and see, especially because I got my Lao back in my collection. So I think my full collection is complete. Like I don't think I need any more hair. I might buy, I might buy some clip-ins. I might buy clip-ins. I thought about the tape-ins, but I don't really think I want to do that either. But I might buy some clip-ins, a set of clip-ins. I don't know, because I like my hair full. I feel like the clip-ins are not going to do it for me. If you have clip-ins, let me know. The clip-ins from Yummy Hair Extensions, definitely let me know. But y'all, mm -hmm. you see how voluminous and fluffy my hair looks? And I'm going to keep on spraying. If you don't like to use a lot of hairspray, don't use the hairspray, okay? But I do what I do to maintain my bundles at home. My curls don't always last the longest when I don't use hairspray. So sometimes, if I just want it to last a little bit longer, I use hairspray. If you want your curls to stay just like this, you're going to want to use a hairspray that has a little bit of a stronger hold than the dry brushable one. This one is brushable. Okay, so that is the final look of my blowout curls with the Velcro curlers. Like this look is so voluminous, so lustrous, and it's just full of body like, oh. 
like I can't and these curls are going to last me I still have to kind of work on this side I always curl this side way better than this side we all have that one side that we do a little bit better um but you guys this is just and I did layer this side I think a little bit more but it's so let me turn around actually so you guys can see the back like do you do you see that oh my if you guys have any further questions about this hair on my head or any of the products that i use please leave a comment down below i will respond to you also leave a comment because it really helps my channel out a lot of times you guys like people that know me might text me or call me leave the comment below it really helps me out and i'm trying to grow you know thank you so much for staying tuned in and i'll see you in my next video happy 2024 <laughs> bye